Hello team. Hello everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. And today we go through and continue our journey through Dark Souls. So yesterday I did not trigger Siegvart, Siegvart, uh quest and I forgot how to trigger it because, well, you know, <laughs> it's been a while since I've played Dark Souls, but now I do remember how. And I need to progress through the Cathedral of the Deep a bit in order to open it. And in order to progress through the Cathedral of the Deep, I do need to go through this lovely area first. It's a cemetery and anything you kill here is gonna come back instantly from the ground. So, first and foremost, you need to have your torch ready because some of these do have those parasites that will trigger bleeding now they are mostly pushovers but in large numbers they can be problematic as they keep stagger you now as you can see they don't deal too much damage but do not linger here for too long because they keep spawning and eventually they will get the best of you. Um, I did go and take the sword over there because there was a power outage just moments ago and caught my recording right around here. So I really didn't do anything. And I'm back. Oh, kind of reminds me. If the power outage cut my... Oh yeah! Oh really? Okay, so it's like I did nothing. Good to know. It did not save. Uh, I did not save my progress and it seems that to the game I did not take this item. Alright. Good for my recording to be honest. And this is the Astora Greatsword. I, one of these days I will do a playthrough with a greatsword only uh, kind of build, but for now I do like these kind of swords like twin swords, katanas and straight swords. Great swords are or never been my style to be honest. There we go. Oh, and this is the uh, this is the trap area. Kind of reminds me. Why do I need to come here? Is there some sort of treasure at the end of the place here, or is it just because there is a path diverging? Interesting to me. The first time I did end up there. Okay, there we go. So this is not the part of the trap. This is part of the trap, and if I go through the left and get, pick up that sword, I will find myself in this vantage area. And you can see there's just like uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you think yeah, it's not a big of a deal, but the moment you cross the gap here, much more enemies are gonna spawn from the ground, and I think one or two of them are gonna be a tough one which has uh, parasite attacks, which will trigger bleed. So the best thing to do is pick up those two items and run out of here. The Fading Soul and the Executioners. See? They will try to cut the path for you. So if you're not careful, uh, it's gonna result in dire, dire things, especially if this is your first playthrough and you do not know the layout of this area. Uh, it's gonna cause a lot of pain for you, a lot of kid did for me. I did not want to go left or right, I did not want to go in general, and it was not a good time for me. Now before I go and cross this bridge, uh, I want to check if there's anything I've missed here. 
this is the way to go. This is the Church of the Deep, or the Cathedral of the Deep. Uh, this is the down area that I've been on uh, before. And before I continue, since there is a uh, bunch of problematic enemies ahead of us, I mean, I need to switch to the fire katana in order to stun them, sort of say. Why? See? This is what I'm talking about. These are problematic ones. And you can see the animation of them uh, trying to do something. This is kind of a shortcut. Like, once you come here the, for the second time, for example, all you need to do is, as you enter through the gate, take your right, and you'll find yourself here. Which will evade most of these uh, places to you. There's no need to kill these people because they will respawn nevertheless. the two with the uh I think if I'm not if I'm not wrong and if this mechanic is still in the game and I'm certain it might be um if you have a faith based weapon uh killing these people or these undead will make it so they would not respawn. Oh well, this one is tougher. Be careful of this guy he will kill us if we are not careful. Okay. See? He will trigger your blood blood loss. And I wanna backstab him like so and he doesn't let me. Oops, that was a missed effort. I wanted to finish him, not drink an Estus, and I pressed the wrong button. It happens. So yeah, he does uh, trigger bleed. This also is a lovely area that I will get to. Yeah, fire is a really crucial element here. If I'm not wrong about the faith element, then that would be even better. But I don't think we can get a faith-based weapon uh, before crossing this area. I don't kind of remember. And yeah, I forgot. I forget that it's pointless to try and kill these because they will respawn. You can see arrows as an indication that Mr. Giant is gonna be of great help to us. Unless you did not make peace with him. If you do not make peace with him, then you're gonna have a bad time in this area. Because you're gonna keep shooting you and them. But since we go... Uh, since we went to the tower and made peace with him, uh, it's going to be alright. It's going to be fine for us. And we'll be able to loot these things. There's going to be an undead. Oh, there it is. Bone shard. That's the most important item in this particular area. Repair powder. Should you have been playing for this play in this place for a while. Now we can kill it conventionally. Or we can leave it to the giant which is more fun to be honest <laughs> you had no chance so we can have a lot to drop and also be careful not to be hit by one of these fellas come on you can kill me come here i've got a straightforward surprise for you Or maybe not. <laughs> ah, there he is. There he is shooting. Now... In order to trigger Siegvert's quest, there is some... Or not just Siegvert's quest. First and foremost, 
I need to open these doors and in order to first trigger Pachi's quest and uh, if I reach Rosario's chamber and open the door that will also trigger Siegvert's quest so we'll find him on the well so I'm thinking in what order should I do these I think I'm gonna come because I will be here anyway I will be doing a great circle throughout this place and I will come first here open this door trigger patches which doesn't really matter and doesn't really matter because if I don't trigger patches here we can find him uh, upstairs is gonna be laying a trap for us I will also go back to Firelink after doing this place and he's going to be triggering there and the reason why I say this is because patches is really important to us in order to be able to rescue Siegvert so yeah both of these characters are really important kinda and need to be recovered anyway there's no need to me ow All right, you bastard. This is a uh, tricky area to navigate through. Let me put you out of your misery first. Don't worry, buddy. I'll be coming to you real soon. You can keep shooting your arrows there and uh, dancing of your victory and I'll be coming to you. Make no mistake. Yeah, you see the guy, don't you? This guy is bad news, his blocks are Estus recovery and pushes out push us out of the way if we are not careful. Hmm. Oh you descend, don't you? Well you know what? Since you are this brave, let me come to you. Let me personally come to you. Oh, there's nowhere to run. Nowhere to run. Hey, let me make your running faster by respawning you at a bonfire or whatever you undead do. I don't know how do they respawn, but they will respawn, of course. Nope. Thank you. You probably have seen the shadow of these guys. And this place is filled to the brim with them, so be extra careful. They have thrall axes and flamberges and they are tough to beat. They will lay traps and they will be your demise if you're not careful. As I say that, I kind of forgot their placement, really. So they will probably be succeeding. But just be mindful of the environment, lest you take arrows from these guys or other horrible horrible things that will happen to you in this area in uh, general this is a kind of go fast area if you can dispose of these fast it's good if not uh, don't be a hero like I am there we go drinking and then come back it's always pays off when you are careful take out the range and the guy with the wooden shield is not a big issue he's really nothing there you go I could have probably broken his shield I don't think I can break can I break his shield with this particular animation? I 
do not know. I'll have to try it. This too is a nasty trap. So this is a nasty trap. You can see the guy's feet hanging from the ground. So yeah. Hmm. How did I go? Oh yeah, I can go from here. No, this is uh, definitely not the way. But I know that I can go back or go up there first. You know what? I think I should go to the left. This is a problematic place because it's the evangelist and her worshippers. Oh, really? Let them burn themselves like this and they will be kind enough to deal enough damage to Miss Evangelist here. There we go. Giving us the opportunity to kill her swiftly. Like so. Sometimes the cult you're following is going to be your undoing. Sorry for you, Miss Evangelist. <laughs> Basically, your followers killed you. The item I just picked is kind of a PvP item. Works sometimes when you are facing off against humanoid uh, NPCs, but generally, uh, it's a PvP item. Should I trigger the trap here or come back later? Let's tr just trigger the trap here, whatever. There you go. Goodbye. Red palette. Thrall. Helm. All good for us. Of course, the way is through here. There we go. This guy is a bit of toughy, so get ready for him. Let me backstab. Thank you. There we go. Two well calculated attacks and he's gone. This has always been one of those areas that are really tough. Because the bonfire is not going to be easy to find. There are lots of traps like this. This trap for example I did not anticipate. And generally it's a pain in the arse. And there's the other guy. Are oh, you first? Okay. What about you? When? Now? Oh, that's a lovely trap. You use your friend's corpse to block the camera view from me and you attack me. Good. Oh, this is a... Uh, this is the problem... Uh, the problematic place. There's two patrolling assassins. Not these guys, of course. Uh, there's this guy who will rock your healing. Uh, yeah, it's uh... I need to advance carefully here. Oh, there we go. This is the one I'm talking about. So you come through here and you deal with the trap in a much better way. Nevertheless, nevertheless. Okay, the healing block is over. Now, the ones I'm talking about are going to be patrolling soon. Two assassins, not one. They are agile, they are fast, and they will dispose of you if you are not careful. Here's number one. And number two is going to come shortly. So yeah, kind of poses a dilemma for me. Should I deal with him? Who was the second one? Ah, there's the second one. He's hiding there. Hmm. Hmm. Of course, they both aggro at the same time. So since I do not have enough feeling. 
All I'm gonna do is try to escape. Run past them. There's no need for me to fight them. And there's no need for them to fight me. And they will keep following me for a while, so... Yeah. As long as I'm pushing doors, I am invulnerable, so... Yeah. Now... Leave me be. Leave me be. I just want to reach the next bonfire. Oh, they still... Seriously? Wow. Are you serious, man? Are you... Kidding? He's still... Holy crap! He's still with me! I'm astonished! I am astonished! And it's one of them too! Oh, you can kill me now, it doesn't matter. Suck of shit! <laughs> It doesn't matter, I've got the shortcut now. You can kill me, it makes no difference. Ah, merciful God. Yeah, 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 we heard that. Uh, of course, this is a expert strategy, so to say. Those of you who already played the game. But imagine going through that place for the first time. Oh, I had some trouble there. And it wasn't easy for me. Luckily, uh, the first time I was playing, I was not as careless as I am now. I advanced slowly, I had arrows, I aggroed one of them first, and then I de dealt with the other, and... I was killed... I wasn't killed by those two. I was actually killed by an ambush that I will show shortly. And there's like one of those big dudes with axes who destroyed me. Because I did not foresee that trap, of course. That was my first time playing the Dark Souls 3. And I was dead. But yeah, I was quite content with my progress there. And the lack of bonfire makes it so this place is tough. These are vulnerable to flame, so always use flame based attacks. Just like in Dark Souls 1, they will always be vulnerable to flames, unless it's the molten ones. This gonna give you an overview of what's gonna wait, or what's await, or what's in store for you. As you can see, we'll go through down there first. We'll be arriving through that door to the left, do the big circle, and try to evade Mr. Giant here, and enter through that door. And that's how we progress. Now, the quests like Patches and Sigvaya are gonna be up there, uh, to the other room, where we're gonna find Rosaria and her servants and stuff. But yeah. That's going to be like an episode or two ahead, actually. Uh, for now, let me just uh, continue doing things that I did not do. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Seriously. Seriously. Clipped me through the door, staggered me and everything. So, I killed those two and everything, and all is doing great. Oh, I had that. What? I'm not focused, man. Come on. Give me some slack. <laughs> Got me some slack, uh, should I say. Now, I was focusing on trying to describe the way and everything, and uh, yeah. Those things happen. Luckily, I can recover my souls, since there's nothing major happening. Where's the lever? There you go, that's the lever. But yeah, 
to the left, you can see a mass of uh, servants there. I go to kill them and I get destroyed by the axe fella who's hiding right around the corner. When you think of it, it's a classic trap to be honest, that I fell for. Oh yes, this is the way that I'm talking about. Um, this guy's gonna wake up the second I step out of this cover. Oh, right now, as you can see. Uh, his bad news, so do not try to be brave and try to fight him at his hands level. Actually, we will get a chance to fight him later when we reach the bottom of that place. And fighting him there is much more easier. It does take a ton of damage to die, but is not such a big problem. Now that uh, I know that you guys are gonna be problematic for me, I'm just gonna deal with you swiftly and seriously. So yeah, uh, let's not, let's see, yeah, they're not gonna wake up. Here's Mr. Axe. Let him come first. Let him come first. Oh yes. Oh yes. The blue tear storm is saving me time and time again. Let me backstab you. Did we a bit faster? Oh, we have it. Oh, you can see uh, how the trap works. If you kill one of these, I think the rest is gonna wake up. If you kill one of these. But yeah, the rest is gonna wake up. They will push you and they will uh, sacrifice themselves, but they give you an amber. And ambers are valuable. Let me keep one used at all times so that we would not be missing on any kind of NPC or you know summon. Don't worry for a bit he will be agitated the giant that is but he will be back to normal if you leave him well enough alone. What the heck? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that scared me for a bit. That sound, that dying sound with the gong kind of sound, is reminiscent uh, from the nights in Dark Souls 1. So whenever I hear it, like it gives me PTSD, <laughs> it gives me an Orlando PTSD, where there is a lot of these nights and each one you kill makes that dying sound. So yeah, when one of these died, I was like, is there a knight here? And then I quickly remembered. So yeah, this concludes our episode for the, for the day. Tomorrow we will continue through the Cathedral of the Deep. But for now, I will sign off and I will see you guys when I see you. So take care of yourselves and have a nice day.